baby, it's a cold one out here today. Woo! Welcome back everybody, my name is Jordan. I'm from the channel Tightline TV and uh, welcome back to the Mystery Tackle Box YouTube channel. Today we are out here on a pond and uh, it's 30 degrees outside today. It is November. This is the time where, you know, it's still considered late fall, but it pretty much feels like it's winter. If you guys are like me and you're from the Midwest, fishing this time of year can be really difficult, but it can also be super rewarding. And a lot of people get discouraged because they feel like fishing's just done. Today I wanna show you guys how you can still get out here and catch fish even when you're freezing your butt off. You know, it's not over yet. Even though the boat's put away and you're not hitting the main lake anymore, you can still get out at your local pond or fish offshore and catch some bass. So let's get to it. Wait, double. I'll take it, double up for the first one of the day. I'll give you guys a quick lowdown on how we're gonna be fishing today and then we're gonna get right into things because it gets dark early this time of year and I wanna see if we can get on some fish for you guys. So here's what I like to do this time of year. I like to compare my fishing to like how I feel. I know that doesn't really make sense and that sounds kind of weird, but it's cold out. When you're cold and you're freezing your butt off, you get lethargic. You really don't wanna do a lot of things. You're not motivated to go run around and do a bunch of stuff, right? Well, the fish are the same way. They still want to eat and they're still willing to make moves, but they're cold and they're lethargic and they're going to stay tight to the bottom. So today we're going to be focusing on finesse jig imitations. Right here I have a shaky head with a bandito bug and then uh, I also have this beaver bait. This is a fuzzy beaver by Riot Baits. So I like to focus on baits like this style right here. I don't like to throw bass jigs and things like that. I try to slim down the presentation. A lot of people this time of year will throw things like this which is completely fine but I like to just completely downsize my presentation and just have it a little more finesse a little simpler so right here I just have a shaky head with a bandito bug no skirts none of that stuff and I would fish this bait the exact same way if you don't want to do the shaky head and you're not feeling the shaky head I would just Texas rig it simply just do a Texas rig and all we're gonna be doing today guys is we're gonna be flipping the shoreline and we're gonna be dragging these baits now these fish aren't gonna go super deep yet eventually they'll start making their way down and you know making their transition for winter but a lot of people are still afraid to fish really shallow this time of year I'm gonna be flipping the shoreline still fishing one to three foot of water and I guarantee you these guys will get it done for me today and uh, the good news is like the fish are fat it's it's fall guys they've been eating they're focusing on one thing and that's just getting a belly full to make it through the winter fishing natural colors in the fall is one of the best things that you guys can do just staying finesse staying natural is one of the best ways that you're gonna excel on catching fish. I'm gonna be fishing a medium heavy rod with a fast gear ratio reel. Anytime you guys are flipping jigs or anything similar to that, you're gonna want a reel that's gonna be able to pick up that slack. So we got a seven to one gear ratio for me today. So I recommend seven or higher. And then I would recommend fluorocarbon. Today I have 15 pound floral. I like to use fluorocarbon, it's a lot more finesse. Honestly, I fish fluorocarbon for pretty much everything when it comes to jig fishing, unless I'm fishing heavy cover. If I'm flipping mats and things like that, of course I'm gonna use braid. You guys can use whatever you have, it really doesn't matter. Just get out there and fish. The only thing that I would recommend using fluorocarbon for like this time of year is not only to be finesse, but if it's freezing cold out, like today it's 30 degrees, if you're fishing braid, braid holds water and your fingers are gonna get really cold, your line's gonna start to freeze and things like that. So, you know, a nice coated fluorocarbon really helps you out. So yeah, a couple of tips and now we're gonna get right into fishing. I'm using a shaky head with a fuzzy beaver on it from Shop Carl's, which is essentially like a grub bait. It's actually something that I use to tip jigs, but I just eliminated the jig to be a little more finesse with it. So I'm gonna start with this, see if we can put a hurting on a couple of, couple of fish. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. There you go. There you go, buddy. You're like, is that a hit? I don't know. Nice, bro. First one of the day didn't take too long. I'm not a giant. But uh, hey, yeah, dude, I'm like, it's, it was so lethargic. Wait, dude. double. Yeah, boy. Here we go. Good one. Nah. There we go. There, that's, that's a good right sign. there. Yeah, horrible. Bingo, bango. Nice. I guess we had a good spot. I'll take it. Double up okay. for the first one of the day. No doubt. <laughs> 
That's sweet. Or something like that. Yeah, I was like, wait, 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 double. Picked it up again. Dude, little guy. But, little guy. There's some bigger ones in here. But that's it, guys, just a little finesse bait. So all I'm doing here is I'm taking this shaky head with this beaver, throwing it up on that shoreline, and I'm just dragging it. I'm not jigging it. I'm just dragging it slowly. And uh, they seem to pick it right up. Two, that was, that was crazy, two consecutive casts. Not a giant, but. Yeah. Hey, dude, three fish, and we're freezing our butts off. I'm, I'm not cold anymore. You know what I'm saying? You gotta love it, guys. You don't wanna. Gotta love it. Careful, you're gonna knock the boat over. Small one, again. The way he's, you're, you're bringing him in. A little bit bigger. Not bad, dude. Chunk. That's actually chunk. Nothing crazy, but not bad. There's one. Got him. That's a, that's a dead weight. Is that crappie? Is that a bass? That's a no. He was just tired. Jump. Yeah, I was like, what the heck? Where are the bigger ones at? Oh. Right off of the tree. Man, this water's cold. You got... There we go, I got it. And that's gonna make my hands freeze real good. And guys, this will work for any of you. If you still have your boat out and you're fishing main lakes, or if you just have a development pond by you, or you're like me and you're in a John boat. The reason I chose the John boat today is simply because I put my big boat away for the winter. So I'm kind of done fishing the main lakes. So I'm literally throwing right into the shoreline, guys. And I'm just, lifting that bandito bug up. I'm pretty much just dragging it on the bottom. I, it, it, it's, it's a little bit different. It takes some patience and it definitely makes it harder because it's cold out here. But uh, you gotta pull away from what you're used to in the summertime where you're flipping real quick and you're pop, pop, pause. You're really just gonna have a slow lift on this bait. We're trying to be finesse. That feels like a bite. There we go. Right there. There you go, guys. That hook is so bent too, because I was stuck on a snag and I still caught that fish. Do you see that? Oh, that's bad. I'm gonna have to change that out. Because <laughs> we're catching fish. <laughs> There's a fish. Okay. There we go. I thought, it felt like I had one, but I like wasn't sure. <laughs> Turns out I did. Where the big dogs at? You want? Oh, yeah. Big? Yeah. Okay, keep him down. Don't reel him all the way in. I'll help you out. Okay. He popped off. Oh. Wasn't huge, but dude, this wind is killing me. Alrighty, guys. We're starting to freeze our butt off, so I'm going to wrap things up here. Essentially, all we did was we bundled up, we got out here and we minimized our presentation. When you're fishing this time of year, when it's 30 degrees out and it's really cold, you know, these fish are still gonna eat, but they're not gonna go out of their way to eat. So throwing things like big swim baits or crank baits and things like that aren't really gonna help you out. You wanna stay low and roll right off the ground. Like I was showing you earlier, I like to downsize my presentation to just a craw instead of a craw tipped on a jig or just a bug bait, just a beaver bait just the bandito bug, things like that. I just like to stay finesse. If you wanted to, you can definitely get out here, throw a shaky worm 
or a drop shot, those things will work well too, but I've found that it's easiest to just get a jig on the bottom and drag it and get it in front of those fish's face. Now, we caught a few fish today, so successful day, I can't complain about that. We didn't find the big ones we were looking for, or hoping for at least, but at the end of the day, anytime you get out and fish and you actually catch fish, it's a great day. I'm cold and it's getting dark. And it's probably gonna start snowing soon. So if you guys wanna try this, don't be discouraged. Get out there, definitely bundle up. This is not for everybody. It takes a lot to get out there and commit to something like this. But if you do commit to it, you do focus, then you guys should be able to catch some fish. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much, Mr. Tackle Box, for letting me take over the channel today. I hope you guys learned something. Do me a favor, if you like this video, smash that like button. Leave a comment down below if you guys wanna see me back here on this channel, or just leave a comment. Leave a comment, say Mr. Tackle Box is awesome or something. There's great videos on this channel you guys can learn all kinds of things and hey if you guys are curious you can go over to my channel at tightline tv i do a lot of fishing content and with that being said we will catch you guys in the next one